Morning. This is Arnie Waters here. I hope you're having a great day today. The gold is trading down about $25 around 16.13. We suggested to you uh, over the last couple of weeks that gold could trade as low as 15.80, 15.90. The gold next big up move is uncertain at this time, but the certainty is that it, the timing of it is uncertain, but the certainty is that it will arrive. Uh, so we're encouraging our clients to be very aware of what is going on internationally. Uh, it looks like the Greek government's inability to, the Greek uh, parliamentary system's inability to form a new government may mean there will be new elections. There is a critical moment arriving because in order to get the next level tranche, as it were, of funding from the uh, Euro system, the Greeks have to have a new austerity budget in place by the uh, end of June. It is also, so it's not clear how that can happen with all the maneuvering that's going on, and especially if there is another election. Uh, this is, uh, added to this is the fact that it is expected that the Greek government will run out of money by the end of June of this year. So uh, these are some factors that are causing structural weakness in the euro. You will doubtless recall that we expect the euro to fall mightily over the next while in comparison to the relative performance of the dollar um, because of the strength of the U.S. economy versus the economies in the rest of the world. I cannot overstate to you how important it is to take a look at China in the disarray that it is facing politically. We've always said to you that the danger in China is political rather than economic. And so we're seeing that many people are starting to question whether or not the communists have, in effect, broken the sacred compact, the deal that they made, um, because corruption is so rife uh, throughout the system, and favoritism has become the rule uh, rather than uh, ability. So uh, these are some things to keep in mind as we look out <clears throat> at the world today. In the rare earth area, we've seen some lovely work uh, by Molycorp and acquiring a processing company. This, of course, means that the principal uh, concern that we've had about Molycorp has now been removed. They will have the capacity to process uh, rare earths uh, uh, in, in deeply integrated into their uh, company structure. So this is Arnie Waters. What day are you going to be happy if you're not going to be happy today? Have a great day. Thanks.